Constitution newspaper, and of course, The Punch. We'll quickly start with the Nigerian Tribune. Niger killings, FG order security agencies to track foreign miners funding banditry. Bans mining in Shiroro site vows to avenge killings of 12 miners. And check out the rider here, this quotation, those who think they can invade villagers, kill innocent people to make way for illegal mining of their rich materials will be shocked to discover that it is no longer business as usual. With the mining machas working with the intelligence community, we shall fish out these hoodlums and put their hands on the fire. Well, apart from this disturbing one, you have other interesting headlines. Orlando completes 783 million US dollars Nigeria IGP oil company acquisition deal. As NPC says, Orlando, Wale Tinumbu have no equity in OVH. ICPC once again said, undermining Supreme Court's judgment on LG autonomy. Check it out. Power sector. Minister knows moves differential tariffs to stimulate demand, says grid connection cheapest, most reliable. Adelike issues directives on food inflation, fuel prices, people's welfare. Check it out. And we have what you have brought to you from um, in the news, Ariwala Bows at CGN signs of new Supreme Court rules. EGF cautions against subversion of democratic government. Tinumbi to swear in K. Kiriyaku as CGN today. Grab a copy of the paper, Nigerian Tribune, this morning for more on these headlines. I have the national newspaper here with me this morning, and this first one screaming in the headlines, no room for subversive moves, federal government warns, and other headlines includes, Minister Asu to meet Monday over strike threat, government raises panel on issues, budget 2025 to focus on essential projects and target is for funding. Ongoing road works will be completed, say Humayi. 51% of farming areas threatened by flooding. And there's this uh, good news here. First Lady gives 1.85 billion Naira grant to 37,000 women, 30 traders. These and many more on the Nation newspaper. Akim? All right, um, very quickly to the Vanguard newspaper. And we have um, released um, End Bad Governors, Release Detained Protectors Now, on Nayekon, Arewa Youth CSOs. We are talking here. Um, check it out. Uh, uh, Nigeria trade surplus rises 145% to 8.26 billion. US dollars. State House 2025 budget will be on actual requirements. Presidency. Pay rise. MBA asks judges to revive public trust. Igero's police summons. OB caution FG as Nupeng puts oil workers on red alert. Um, that's all we have from the Vanguard. And we also have um, this. Team Nigeria arrived Paris promised podium performance. That is talking about Paralympics and that will be starting very soon. And from the Mr. and Mrs. Connor, as we normally dish out to you, uh, the woman is talking here, and the woman is listening attentively, listening to what she's saying. Thank God you like the shoes I bought for you, but do you know I don't know your size? My friend chose it. Now, I want to buy a set of boxers for you. What's your size? In fact, let me measure you myself, because if my friend gets it right this time, I'll kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that's it. Uh, on the Punch newspaper, landowners sue federal government over 15 trillion naira Lagos, Calabar Highway. With um, riders who might vow to continue project, insist government paying compensation. And the second rider, the government rules out new roads in 2025. Plans to complete exi existing projects. Dangote refinery begins petrol production test run. 
Tinubu cuts shut France trade swears in CJN today. NNPC directors' expenses jump by 214%. And Minister Right Finance Ministry over Sanu Nasu without salaries. Six and says protect, uh, protesters freed after four years' detention. And lastly, here on the front page of the French newspaper, bandits killed 13 Niger farmers, alleged leaked information. Some people have been free there after four years in them. After four years. So, uh, I mean, were they and what sentenced? Are, and what are, no, no, freed. If you are sentenced, maybe, you are freed. That is, um, we have been detaining you. It's been a wrongful, it lawful? It's been a wrongful detention, it lawful so to, to be, say. To be detained for four so, years. So, I'm not even sure they will, be, a, they will be apologized to. Oh that's, that's the judicial system that we say should improve in Nigeria. Exactly. Uh, but you, you, could be, you could be shocked that um, we have some that spent um, uh, more than five, six, ten years in detention without prosecution, and eventually uh, they will end up being released. Uh, what do you say to that? So for the mere fact that um, you and I are safe, talking here, people are watching us, listening to us, and we go about our business, uh, I think it's the fact that we are privileged. Um, <laughs> some innocent people who could be better than us on this job or some other jobs have been enmeshed in one um, situation or the other, unluckily for them, and of course have been rounded off and in, they are in detention as we speak. And, the, and at the end of the day, uh, you find that uh, there is nothing to prosecute them on. That is even better. What about those that have been wrongly prosecuted? Rather, those that have been wrongly prosecuted. I had, I had a program on radio recently where somebody was um, released after 24 years. Yes, uh, he, he's been sentenced to death. But because of this NGO that pursued the case and what happened, something happened, he followed, okay, he, went, he went to the police station, police station to state his own side of the story, and a friend followed him to the police station, and bam, they were rounded up. And before you know it, they have been hoodwinked. And of course, um, court sentenced them to death over the killing of uh, one woman. I don't know. A, a whole lot of stories that will shock you, that will, that will hit you to the bone marrow. And uh, unfortunately, the judicial system is even slow. And it is what is taken to the court that the court will listen to. You see reasons why people it is are, when the police are ready, not ready trust the to prosecute. Yes, the definitely, definitely. Don't trust them. It's a, when police it's officer a, it's says, it's come a, to the station, come and yeah, yeah, people yeah. do not go. Yeah. They don't trust them. It's a, it's a, it's a whole <laughs> lot of systemic <laughs> rot. Hmm. And I just think that even the Nigerian police are trying to create one good image for the police right now. But we know that things are still very wrong. Oh. Here and there, and some innocent people are still languishing under police in police detention, or eventually getting prosecuted, being forced to make a confessional treatment, or being tortured unlawfully. To, unlawfully, we know and they know and that it happens. Because how can you detain someone for four years? May God help us. May God help us. May God help us. All right. Um, if you're not having any calls, maybe we just take a break. Okay, no, Elder no, Davis is here. He's calling from Alema Show. Good morning. Good, good, good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. What you are talking about is David, David, not David. David, D A G I G. It has been corrected. Elder David, yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Very unfortunate on what you are, the topic you are talking about. Yeah. That is the injustice we have in this country. We, we pray that none of our nation will be a victim of what you are talking about. Amen. Amen. Well it's very painful. Many people have gone to jail for the offense they never committed. Yes. Yes. And of course, in Nigerian society, we are all, we are all involved in it. Mm. It doesn't happen in a civilized country. Whether you call it the DRA, you call it politician, you call it police, you call it this. We are all affected. May God save us. Amen. But my prayer is that with the present government, let us be patient. Many things will be corrected. 
Amen. I'm not campaigning for the government, but I know this government will collect so much of those things because you have been on for many years ago. You are praying for the government. I've said that. 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 i uh, who, who wears the shoes? No, where it pinches. It pinches. So, so say. Uh, yeah, it's easy to talk about it here, laugh over it and pray over it. But what about those that are actually going through the situations? What about hmm. their family members? What about their, their friends? People but I think the, 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 the other message here is that um, the law enforcement, especially the police, should be humane. Mm -hmm. They should be humane. I know what goes on in most police stations. Even if you are their friends, and you go there to bail somebody oh, you yeah, know. Oh, you're friends with them. You could be their friends. You know, you could be, they know you, Lara Emanuel. Lara Emanuel is going there to bail somebody she wants let's to not, bail. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, I came here today. Okay, yeah. I came here today. But <laughs> that does not mean that they will not tax me. I'm saying it on air. It doesn't matter that the, the academic thing is bail is free. Bail is practically not free in most police stations. And they know. And that's a shame. And they know, and the rigors you go through, and even to write a statement, you will be asked to pay for the paper and pen you are going to use in writing statement. They don't have. Excuse me. Yes. Let them come and say. Let them come and say otherwise. Now we have a police-related uh, uh, program on our radio. You can say it to their face. It is true. Wow. Rashid. Even though their bosses will. Okay, Rashid. Hello. Rashid from Abeokuta. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Go ahead. Uh, we pray for Nigerian uh, government to be, be good in Nigeria. Uh, this uh, time around, sir, uh, we do not, we suppose not to take law onto our hand. And then, uh, we know that things, things are not well corrected. But God be able to change things better in Nigeria. Uh, but to detain, uh, detain uh, in a police station is not well, quite right for the law in Nigeria. But what we need is that to take a correct law in Nigeria is our government that can say this is the right and this is not right. But we, we take law to our hand, it is not normal. But God will help us correct it to be well normal and give us in everything we better to suffer. Amen. Thank you very much, Rashid. I like your crisscross. You. I like your crisscrossing <laughs> at the end of the at the Thank end you of your call. at the end of your call. Yeah. Rashid. Yeah. Saying in Jesus, in Jesus name. name, I like it. <laughs> yes, it's not just about God saving yeah, us. Yes, yeah. I understand the God factor. Yeah, but yeah. we need to play our part. Yeah, we have to. Yes, we have to. We know things that we do in our different uh, vocations that exactly. are wrong. They are wrong. They are especially and we're even proud of them. Especially the law enforcers, they know, and it's not fair. But one thing is sure: there is always karma, and karma is a bitch. By the time it returns, no matter what you do, no matter what you enjoy, it could be at your old age. No, I don't want to say. I don't that. think karma takes that long these days. Okay, I don't. I, 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 I don't want to go into how some of them end, or I don't want to go into what happens to their family. They should think, and of course, they should be godly in whatever they do, because you cannot get away from it in entirety. And at the end of the day, at a point, point in time, I might not know, that I might not know, but your mind will tell you that this is happening to me because of the undue privileges and undue advantage I've taken courtesy of my job as a law enforcement officer at so 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 time. The, the, the award is enough for the wise. For the wise. We take a break. And of course, um, the Nigerians are going to speak, and we always know that health is wealth. Exactly. And this time around, they are going to be talking about health, and they are concerned about the high rate of diabetes in this country. We'll be back.